We rocking with Forbes DVD.com right now. Know the girl, Cyrock. Peace. Perfect. Forbes Yeah, yeah, what are these people? It's your boy Doggy Diamonds. I'm out here at the National Black Theater with somebody who's from out of town, but she's in New York right now and I'm glad I called her. Introduce yourself to the people. Peace, y'all. My name is Cy Rock, the astronomical MC. Right before today. So you was up there, um, rec um, you know, doing your music and your songs and stuff like that. Yep. Where can they see something of you right now on YouTube? Uh, all over, just put in Cyrock S A dash R O C. I got the the channel is Cyrock the MC S A R O C T H E M C. And you got an album coming out? Yeah, I got an album coming out called Nebuchadnezzar on Tuesday, July fifteenth. So just in case this come out after, huh? the, just in case this come out after the fifteenth. Yeah, you the can, album is out. Where can they get it? Yeah, you cop it on iTunes, Amazon, directly from my website, CyRockTheMC.com. But I'm telling y'all, this is the classic of the year. God hop in the building. So let me ask you something. A lot of women that are coming out in hip hop right now, you know, they got the fake booties, they got the fake boobs and all that. Why didn't you go that route? Well, I'm all natural, 100% <laughs> authentic, no fillers, no, you know, no artificial flavors, colors, it's all me. So, I'm, I am God body and I am, you know, the way I manifest on this plane. So, I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't need nothing to add. I'm a glorious being in and of, in and of myself. The reason so, why I'm asking you that though, was you tempted? Did somebody I, try to tempt you? No, did they try to tempt you with money to say you would get this if you got this, if you do that? No, I never got that from anyone. Um, I've gotten, um, not temptation, but people who've said, or tried to influence me to change the direction of my lyrics. Okay. Um, saying that, you know, oh, well you will pop off if you talked about something that's more, you know, real or something that's uh, about you know, the, the, the money, the, the streets and all that stuff. I talk about the streets, but it's a different perspective. Um, so, yeah, I mean, everything, hip, hip hop, rap, the whole music scene, everything is about balance. So there's always gonna be that, but I'm here to represent the true and living queen and the goddesses. A so. healthy alternative to the A healthy stuff. alternative, yeah, you know. I'm just up offering the op the balance of that. So do you do you do you hate sometimes that some people hear you and they say you sound like such as you sound does it bother you or are you flattered depending on who it is? Um, it depends on who the artist is. Okay. <laughs> it depends on who the artist is. I'm not gonna name any names, but there have been times where I was very insulted when somebody said I sounded like someone. But um, I'm always. I'm always interested in seeing what people take from my voice or take from my cadences and things like that. So it's all good. I really like to talk about other people to, you know, to start shit, but um, you see they're saying like the chick Iggy Azalea, whatever her name is, is like uh, the, the queen of hip hop. Now, what, what's your take on it? Uh, no, no, now sorry. Not at all. <laughs> no. I mean, we, we know what that is. We yeah. know what the agenda is. They. You know, they they put this image. They've been doing it for years. They put an image of you know the the Puritan, the projection of what they would like to perpetuate. You know, the blonde hair, the you know that they like to appropriate or misappropriate our culture and put um, their image on top of it. You know, because they the power that we exude and the power that we represent through our culture is evident. You know, you see the hip hop is global so they can't have us realizing that so they got to water it down and put their representation in front of it and they're trying to co-opt our music they know how powerful powerful it is they co-opt it by doing that by changing the imagery and they co-opt it by changing the lyrics as well by by uh, promoting people who dumb down lyrics promoting people who you know bring down the frequency so we know what that is. We know it's some BS, but it don't matter because the music that I produce, music like sisters like Nairobi, Ruby so Selah, and others are gonna, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna take it over. With Jay Electronica and Jay Z at the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival yesterday, that just they just bust down the doors. The people are ready for it. So the people want the information. They want the information. If you if, if somebody said, you know, sister, I I, I want to learn something. But I don't know where to go. I don't really want to join the organized religion. I don't know. Give me a book that a beginner can read. Hmm. There's so many going through my head right now. <laughs> um, I think 
a good book. Uh, it's probably The Destruction of Black Civilization. And who wrote uh, it? By Chancellor Williams. Okay. That's a good basic place to start. It gives the history. Because I think you, you got to start with the history. That's what Sankofa is. You got to go back before you go forward. Um, so that's a good book to start with, to know the foundation. So. Yeah. All right. So you got a Twitter, Facebook. What is all I your... got Twitter. Uh, Twitter is Sarok the MC. Facebook is Sarok, S A dash R O C. I'm on Instagram, Sarok the MC. I'm on every pretty much social networking site. Possible. To spell the name right. Yeah, S A dash R O C or Sarok the MC.